79 agility. One more level now for the Relica rooftops. Hell yeah, with that chat duel win, we can tally home. And we can buy the long-awaited chat duel dragon claws. Very overpowered item to have in there. It's gonna be real nice for farming points for more luck tokens. Really the only point in uh, getting that or any of these items. Just to get easier luck tokens and have some other fun items to use in chat duels. So that's really fucking cool. Happy we could get that this morning. AD Agility. The next time we train this skill, it will be in Relica. Really happy we can move on from that course. We've also got a decent bit of Mark's Grace so far. I think about 400. Ooh, almost 600 now. I can either get the Black Graceful or I can get a bunch of lamps with those marks. I'm not sure yet. I might get all of the lamps that we need from all the Barbarian Gold. We still have that 97,000 gold sitting here. That might be what I end up doing with the gold or the marks. Not really sure yet. So we're just gonna stock up all these marks of grace and see when we're done with agility training. More late night grinds and we just did some event hunting and knocked out our two dragon dailies. Can we pull the gloves of silence today? First robe top and lava feathers. Rest in peace. With this drop rate boost plus superior boss chance increase, I really want to head to Elite God War some right now. There's no next mass, no raids going on or anything. But we can make use of this time right now and pop a holiday superior scroll. And that on top of the world boost is going to be some really nice superior chances. Hopefully we can farm a whole bunch of Elder God shards right now. End of this hour at Elite Kree and we did not have much luck this hour. Got about 16 shards. Few bags of riches, few rune coin items. And that is about it. Sadly, we did not see a superior yet. About to go for a second hour at Elite Cree this early, early morning. Hopefully, we can see a whole lot of shards, maybe some superiors. That would be sweet. This morning, I also switched up Terror Pet slightly. Took off the prayer accessory and added a guardian accessory so we can soak 5% damage here. Help us make these trips a little bit more chill. The end of hour two here, and we have not had any better luck. No superior spawns. Not very many elder shards at all. Yeah, a little bit rough luck here this morning. 68k more tokens to roll. Good luck. Can we pull the early pet? Fuck yeah, we got it. That's awesome. That'll be really helpful for the event farm. 15% bonus tokens from that, and whenever we get a dupe pet, I'm gonna try rolling that for the uh, enchanted version. That'll be 25% bonus tokens. That is really fucking awesome we got that early. What will we get for the rest? A few other small things. That pet is huge though, really happy that we got that. I definitely plan on using the Cramp Mare event pet for the dragon hours. It'll help us get a lot more tokens per hour. So we need to unlock the other slots on this pet. Want to use some prayer accessories for it. Make the KBD hours really AFK. So here we go. Good luck, Superior Snowman. Anything? 3,000 tokens. That is definitely solid. Ooh, hell yeah. Another prize key. Really love seeing those. Ooh, just got a minigame mystery box from a ultimate prize box. Good luck. Inferno Feather. Nothing too crazy. New Wandering Merchant Week. Can we get lucky? Crest Bearer Plate Body. That might be doable. I think that's 10 or 15 crests needed. We might be able to make that happen. And the Hard Devout Boots. I think we have that. Medium for Guthan Helms. And Easy Grimy Guams. We might be able to make a lot of this week happen. Yeah, it's 15 crests needed for the crest bearer body. So we'll have to save up five more crests, either that or get a few of the other pieces that we're missing. But besides that, this is very doable elite, so that's fucking awesome. And we can trade in the easy, medium, and hard right now. So that is very sweet. Do that. Devout boots. Seven lava pendants. All right, yeah. Not doing that. We can do the other steps, though. Dragon Harpoons, pretty sure we have that. And Steel Titan Pouches. Don't have the pouches at the moment, but we can trade in the Harpoons. And 17 Sears Rings, I know I don't have that one. We got a few hundred tokens so far though, and we might be able to make that Crest Bear Plate Body. We will see later in the week. Start of another next mass. Hopefully today is our day. Elite Scroll, Split Hero with the Nihilhorn.
1,000 next kills. That is pretty fucking crazy. Big, big milestone right there. Ancient Hilt for Lissa. Grats. Corva Plate Body for Diablo. Congrats, brother. That is fucking huge. Ancient Hilt for Wish On. Grats to you. Last kill of this mass hour. Nothing. Maybe the next trip. Maybe. And with this dead snowman, we have enough souls now to get our next event upgrade. About to buy the tier 3 tome. I think that'll be the best next thing to get. Help us out a lot. It'll give us extra tokens, a little bit more event damage. And now we can begin working on both of the tier 3 wands and the night winter wand. Going to take quite a few souls to get all of those done but we'll eventually knock it out. We have finally done it, gathered 77,000 tokens, and we can finish off the rest of tier one on the event chest. Really fucking excited. More than halfway done with our first clear. Hell yeah. There it is. Now we'll need 150,000 tokens and we can clear tier two of our first chest. That is awesome. Super happy about that. We are getting really close to being able to unlock the bonus activity scroll. Whenever we get that done, it's going to be a whole lot of hours spent at the Dragons. Good luck this huge casket, the mystery boxes, and the 3M tickets. 890 mil, that's decent. Alright, anything real good from these donator boxes? A lava pendant? Grand Crest? Anything like that, please? Ooh, Tyrus Helm. That's a useful item right there. Won't complain with that. Rest of it's just some decent rune coin. Good luck, the mystery tickets. Donator box. Casket. Hey, pet mystery chest. I think we can use a uh, prize key on that. Yeah, let's check it out. Open these two. And good luck, pet mystery chest with a key. Thought that was a thing. Well, good luck, pet mystery chest. Uh, gross. About what I was expecting. Hey, there's an XP accessory. We can at least use this accessory upgrade on the golem pet and throw that XP accessory on there. Pretty sweet. A little bit more XP gain for the rest of this max grind that we have ahead. It's not that much left, but it'll help us some. Beginning a construction hour. Hopefully we can get some good gains this hour. We got up to level 87 construction this hour. Really happy with that progress. Decent bit. We still have five hours left though. Second hour of construction today begins. Second hour of construction completed. Really happy with the progress overall today. We were able to hit 2300 total level in this hour. Pretty damn crazy. Not a lot left on construction. It'll be about four, four and a half more hours or so. It's a bit, but it's not too bad overall. Another amazing thing about that hour is we can now make the utility summoner in our player owned house. So now we can summon a player owned house banker. That's really fucking amazing. Anytime I am super AFK now too, and not at the keyboard at all doing any type of somewhat AFK activity, I'll just be fully AFK here in the house and have a banker posted up and you guys are free to use this house whenever you want to. Have some ores and some trees and uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll put an altar over here in a minute. And here is our finished altar room. Can't make the gilded burners yet. I'll have to clean a whole bunch of marintals first. I'll make that sometime in the future though. But there it is. The house is looking pretty damn sweet now. <laughs> 